motion regarding the minutes of our previous meeting. Um, Andrew on the motion, Mr. Bruno on the second. Are we ready for the question then? All those in favor of approving the minutes of our previous meeting signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Thank you. All right, Kevin, you want to start with Parks and Rec? Yeah, we can start with Parks and Rec. I just want to add on under the ref the items for discussion. I, I just have one other thing to talk about today, but I'm going to turn it over to Tim right now to, to go on with the agenda. Sure. sure. All righty. So okay, the first item here? of business I have is a agreement that we do with uh, Thurman Connection Snowmobile for use of the track from uh, mile post 68 to 72, which is Stony Creek Ranch to Thurman Station. All right, let's uh, bring this forward for consideration. Uh, Mr. Leggett on the motion, second. Mr. Dickinson on the second. Thank you, Dennis. Good to see you. Um, you might want to take your sound off here. Um, all right, now, uh, discussion on the motion? The committee. Uh, Ron, am I on the committee? No. Pardon no. Me? You're the not committee. on the committee. I'm on the committee. I saw you raise your hand. We'll need someone else on that second then. <laughs> I'm sorry. I owe oh, this. There you okay, go. Um, Mr. Strau, then. Uh, thank you. Uh, now we can have discussion on the um, on the request. There being no discussion, are we ready for the Karen, question then? I'm sorry, which which item are we on? I'm sorry. <laughs> We're in their parks and rec. Um, it's a um, an agreement uh, with Thurman Connection Snowmobile Club uh, for use of uh, the railroad. Got it. Okay, thank you. All right, Ben, are we ready for the question? All those in favor of approving the request uh, for an agreement signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Uh, the second item I have is to amend the county budget for Up Yonder Farm. It's a Pearsall grant that we applied for. It's for $2,500. It was for new uh, tablets to go along with their program. They would like to put some of the money to buy the tablets and the other into supplies for the upcoming season. All right. Chair, I'll take a motion to bring this forward. I'll make a move. Mr. Strau, Mr. Bruno on the second. Thank you. Any any discussion? Can, I have a question. I, I assume we'll deliver a, a, a thank you letter uh, for the grant. Kevin, you make sure that happens, please. Yes, we will. All right. Any other discussion? I have a quick question, Chairman. Sure. And, uh, okay. Andrea, sure. Thank you. What are what programming are the tablets used for? An outdoor um, program that they're working with Malta to do uh, hiking programs with their school, an, an outreach program versus those schools coming to us. This is going to allow us to go to them. Oh, that's really cool. So, so is it live that then they're interacting live through the tablets? Uh, actually, they're actually going to do a program where you use a tablet that has several items on it. They'll be going th throughout the field to locate these items, whether it be a, a plant uh, program, a bird, or their footprint program. Whatever program they want to bring, they can use this tablet system. That's great. And, and did the director write this grant? Who wrote the grant? Uh, this one was done by Rick, Rick Landry, he's a naturalist, naturalist for, of, for yep. people who don't know. Yep. We've Thank had this you. grant in the past several times. They're from Johnsburg. That's why I should wear hand up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I <figured>. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I think we got there. Uh, uh, Supervisor Leggett. Thank you. The junior nationalist booklets, are those electronic booklets? The nationalist booklets, I don't think they're electronic though, are they? No. They're not going to be electronic. No, though. no, they're not. All right. Thank you. All righty then. Are we ready for the question? All those in favor of uh, receiving the grant and providing a thank you letter signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, carried. 
Um, okay, the next and, item I have is just for, for your review and for uh, discussion if you have any questions. The first item I have is the stocking permit. What we have done with DEC and we've met with several agencies outside of work and listened to what the sportsmen were wanting larger fish versus quantity fish. So the state of New York is working entire state of restructuring our entire stocking permit. They want bigger fish. Uh, they got a slot limit they're calling nine to 12 that they need to reach. We have no problem with it. Uh, we're going to raise a thousand less fish, but more quality fish, if that makes sense to you. So what we do in the fall versus putting everything in the spring, we save uh, an amount left over of brook trout and uh, rainbow trout. We hold them throughout the summer months. And mm -hmm. then during the fall, we're going to stock what they're calling super yearlings. It just gives it promotes more growth, basically. And then what we also, instead of overlapping the different state hatcheries, they're called reaches. So as, uh, an example for you all would be uh, the Scroon River. We're gonna start in the Southern Basin and go up to a certain point, like Tumblehead Falls on Scroon River. The state will take that and go there forward because they do other species. So the, the whole thing is so that we're not overlapping each other. Uh, the crews are getting smaller for the state and we have less time. So that's the whole purpose. Once it's inked, I will bring it back. But they wanted to know your your feel of actually losing a thousand fish. We don't have to do this program, but at the same time, we're gonna have quality fish, if that makes sense. So our experience in Bolton is, you know, we, we, we stock uh, Trout Lake is that the, um, the larger uh, stockings, uh, the survivability is much better. Correct. Much better. Correct. So uh, any questions? Any questions uh, regarding the stocking program? Will the uh, will you spread the loss of uh, numbers evenly across all the participants? Is that the idea? Yes, definitely. All right, and then, then the next I have. We've done uh, started our fall stocking, which we will be doing our salmon stocking next week. Uh, the only two spots that we have left are Lake George for our landlocked salmon. They're approximately 11 inches now. Uh, Glen Lake rainbows, they're called the fall yearlings, are 13 inches. And all of our heritage program has been stocked throughout the Adirondacks and some of our um, Fall yearlings also have been stocked in the Scroon River, and we've done a program with Cornell University for a tolerance study, they call it. In other words, they'll reclaim a pond, they'll come get 20 to 30 fish, put it in that pond to see if it's ready to be um, stocked. So that, that's in, uh, in tolerance right now. And like I said, question. we just have two, two spots left. Uh, uh, Supervisor Leica. No, uh, Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Tim, at the Starbuckville Dam, there's a fish ladder, and that was the only thing that had water running over at the latter part of the season. What's the success of that fish ladder, and uh, does it complement the stocking program? Um, it doesn't compromise our stocking program that ladder is mostly used for um, landlocked salmon our, our our program is basically for a what they call a put and take system whatever we put in the local waters the f fishermen supposedly remove that's why we have the same numbers same locations every year i mean it's <laughs> possible to have holdovers but mostly it's for a salmon to get up into the scroon lake itself and that's not any of the species then that we stock? No, correct. None. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions for Tim? There being none, uh, are we ready to move into, uh, Kevin, are we ready to move into uh, public works? We are. I just have, I have one last thing that I wanted to add under uh, items for discussion, if, if you'll allow me. Sure. Uh, uh, just so you all know, last month, uh, Red Rail, Revolution Rail came back to us. They 
they are using the training facility down south. We amended their agreement so they could do that. Uh, I received an email from them the other day and had a couple conversations on the phone. Uh, they basically are, in, in their exact words, seeking a long-term success-based public-private relationship with Warren County uh, where they can make uh, a plan to make Warren County a major hub in their expansion plans. Uh, they have expanded to Cape May, New Jersey now. Uh, I, I just, I want to put that out there to, to everybody on the committee uh, and possibly even send something out to the board. I could have Amanda do it. That once they come back to committee looking for whatever long-term agreement or whatever agreement that the, the committee and the board may approve, uh, I guess I want to get the questions, you know, if, if there are questions to be asked of them to get them out of the way sooner than later. Uh, so then when we get the committee, we can provide those questions to them ahead of time and hopefully we can bring them next month to committee and they can answer those questions. So uh, again, they're just, they're looking for uh, some type of long-term commitment. Uh, I just, I don't know that that's necessarily uh, the flavor of the committee or how we'll proceed, but I just wanted to make them aware that they're looking for more. But I guess from our standpoint, I can send their email uh, and then if any of you have any questions, please, please provide me with those questions and I could pass them on to, to them and have them come back in November and maybe come to a conclusion. Yeah. Now, just so uh, we're clear, uh, we presently have a contract with them. Um, it has to be approved each year. Is, was it a three-year contract, Ryan? Is that it? Do I remember? Ryan? I've Oh, well, I, I was I was signaling five. It, five, it's a five, five years. Five year contract. Five years. That's what we presently have with them. Yeah, and I don't know what's more long term than that. I, I mean, I think we're limited to how far out we go. Um, Claudia, is is that contract though one one like our other? I'm trying to think of some other ones where we said like the. Um, the fairgrounds where we have to approve it every year or else it's not actually in effect. Yeah. Yeah. The, the renewals are not automatic, but they have uh, four years worth of renewals in there. Uh, by November 13th, uh, the board of supervisors gets a ridership report and then the board decides before the end of the year, whether they want to renew into the next year and, and their season doesn't start until if memory serves, I think, uh, I think May around mother's day is when they start. Um, so that's why that's why they wanted to know before the end of the year. Okay, so I mean, in fairness to them, I think it's not really as secure as they would like. It's a five-year contract, but those renewals are not automatic, as you said. Is there? Right. And I think the way we have it set up now is because maybe the re the um, initial time that we went entered into the contract, we did not do that through the procedure by which we could enter into a longer term lease? No, no, it was because uh, the future of the railroad corridor is not certain. And we don't want to commit, we don't want to tie it down for five years. Hmm. But it is, it, it is exclusive. I forget about that? <laughs> it is exclusive to them, correct, Ryan? Right. It is exclusive. In other words, that we, we would have to elect to not want to do this any longer. I don't know why we do that. Well, no, what our county administrator is reminding us of is that there's still the STB proceeding out there. They could right. be selling this line to, you know, not our line, but to some freight operator that would need to be in there and we wouldn't have limited control over that process. Is that what you're referring to, Ryan? Yeah, that's correct. Or, you know, the, the, this corridor could go of, of many different directions. I mean, there are also trail advocates out there. Uh, and uh, in, in the if, if the corridor was ever to go in that direction, uh, there was concern about uh, having having a commercial operation tied to it that would influence that one way or another. So it, the, the, the purpose of doing the renewals uh, at the election of the board and the vendor um, is if something changes with the vendor or if something changes with the board as to, as to how this corridor is going to be used. Right, right. Andrea? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Kevin, refresh my memory. In that, in that agreement, even though we said we would revisit it every year, we did nail down 
payment amounts year after year, correct? We have, um, I, I guess, something to talk about. And I, I think if we have them come back next month, uh, we can jump into this. They want to use some of the other buildings, uh, such as the Hadley's train station, if they go down, if they if they continue on that southern portion of the track. Uh, I think that would, would require us to amend the contract because that's not part of the buildings that they have in the current contract now. So, so... But we have, we, yeah, we do have requesting we reopen this. Correct. That's correct. And again, when I, I want to just touch bases, when I receive all the information from them, which I received some ridership already, uh, it's not their final for the season. It's through, I believe, whatever, some October date, uh, maybe October 7th or something like that. But I, I kind of, you know, prefaced it to them is provide all the information that is needed. And that's why I, I will send an email to Amanda to send it out to the committee and to the board. Any questions, you know, that you have of them, uh, their operations, what they're doing. I know there was some concern last month about their, you know, you know, whether we want financial audits and such. I, I think if we, if we have all that information, I can provide that to them before our next committee meeting. And then we can have them at the next committee meetings so they can answer any questions. Yeah, Sounds good. Uh, okay. Supervisor Leggett. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And Kevin brings up a good point that we as a committee should have our questions uh, in advance so that we do not hit them uh, at, at a time when they cannot answer correctly or provide information for us to make a decision. And that includes our strategy for the line as well. That's what's going to come up. And as we looked at the STB, so that the committee is uh, informed on the status of the track legally and what that constrains us to, to be able to do as far as the time frame goes. And then in the long term, what direction do we want to take this incredible facility we have? And by the looks of it, this Revolution Rail is a bit of a success model for that, that track and could be built upon. So those items, it'd be nice to have some of that ironed out or some consensus on which way we want to go with the tracks before the, the next meeting. Yeah, the only thing, Craig, is I'm not sure that's even possible given some of the information that we would have to have to be able to come to that conclusion, not the least of which is the um, Surface Transportation Board uh, in that whole process. But um, I mean, what I mean, I mean, we entered into a contract with them under certain under these terms for uh, certain reasons. And have those reasons changed? I guess that should be where we should be. If the re if those reasons have changed, then maybe we want to entertain uh, something different. But if those reasons have not changed, then I, I, don't, I don't think it's good to communicate in the wrong way uh, to Revolution Rail uh, regarding this. And 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 and, and I just I just think we should be careful here. Uh, it is a contractual matter as well, and it is a negotiated point. So at some point, I suppose we probably have to do this um, uh, in in executive session but I just I guess what I want to know is or I think what we should think about as a committee is that have those conditions changed and I I don't know what uh, Ryan do you have any thoughts on on this I, I don't think so I we the contract that we have of Rev revolution rail it took a couple of months to work it out it was not not without controversy we did that in the early part of this year I believe or, may, or it could have been last year. It could have been, it was, I think it was last year. Um, uh, some supervisors may remember better than me that we started these conversations. Uh, the current year, uh, we started with a $20,000 revenue. Um, we just very recently amended that to $21,000 uh, in recognition of Revolution Rail getting an additional 15 miles uh, for this year's operation. Uh, next year, uh, if the contract is renewed, it goes to 35,000 and then so that's three, five. And then for the follow the 2022, 23 and 24, the last three years of this period, it goes to $40,000. Uh, 
Uh, I think that's a, a, a pretty good deal for the county as we, we decide uh, and wait for all of these longer term pieces to work out. Um, and uh, I, I don't think anything has changed, not from my perspective. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in terms of process though, I think that what, whatever it, it is that I think that they're interested in, I think that they should be channeling this uh, through our staff, kept Mr. Hajos and, and Mr. Moore at this stage, that they can always come to a committee with uh, a proposal uh, or whatever that proposal might be, um, as opposed to um, our trying to uh, manage it as a committee at this stage. I mean, I don't know, what is the thoughts of the committee on this? I'd, I'd like to see them come, come with a proposed contract, uh, though I, I will say this, if I were an entity looking to do business with us and I had watched the board meeting where we tried to amend a contract, you know, in the middle of a full board meeting and started calling for audited financials, you know, I, I, I guess I'd be a little bit nervous too. Um, so so I, I think it's healthy that we're having this conversation right now. Um, so that maybe we, when they do bring us a proposal, we can, we can all kind of be on the same page when we're, when we're considering it together. Are you, are you speaking specifically about the South, the South end of the line, Andrea, is that what you're referring to? Yeah, that got a little crazy. Okay. <laughs> you know? It got a little crazy. And, 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 you know, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not speaking for them. That's not my 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 position, um, but I you know I think that that we as a as a group should have some clarity about what what we want to ask not only these guys but other vendors we get involved with for um, you know audited financials are a bigger deal than just getting your your QuickBooks print out. It, it, an audited financial is is something far more serious mm -hmm. well this is serious business um uh, mr dickinson take your sound off your block off there you go thank you uh i agree with andrea i, I thought that was embarrassing that whole whole thing re reneging on what we had and the conversation just went all over the board I, I, if i was a uh wanted to have a contract with the county i certainly would We'll put a heads up to that. Geez, that was terrible. I think we need to get better organized and, and not put out. That's what I'm, I think that's what I'm looking to uh, do here is to channel this through our existing staff and then then roll it to committee as opposed to taking something raw and, and, and bringing it directly to committee. I mean, I think there's, there's legal elements to this. There's program elements. There's other elements to this that... Um, that uh, need to be uh, evaluated as well. But I'm open to any suggestion other than that. Um, but on the other hand, I don't, I'm don't. i not opposed to anyone addressing the committee on anything at any time. Uh, Mr. Chairman? Mr. Leggett? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you mentioned we had reasons for developing what we did just so that we're all singing off the same page. Perhaps those could be uh, tabulated onto a sheet for us to take a look at so that we all know whereas the county owns and whereas a vendor offered and whereas you know we we lease to them so that we don't really rehash that need to rehash that in in committee but we come prepared thank you i think staff could do that absolutely all right then uh, Kevin, uh, are we ready to move into public works? We are. Okay. What's the, the first, first item? item? The first item on the action agenda under new business is a request to notice of intent to fill a vacant position for the highway construction supervisor one. Uh, this is due to a resignation. Uh, I won't name the town, but one of my guys have left to go to work at uh, one of the towns within Warren County. Uh, Breeze in closer to home, uh, less travel. Uh, and 
probably a little bit more money, uh, but he's uh, he's gone on. So I'd like to be able to backfill that position. This is a position the highway construction supervisor one is a assistant foreman position. So when my foremen are out for any reason, uh, this person is the next in line to run the crews. All right, uh, Chair, I'll take a motion to bring this to the floor for consideration. Mr. Bruno mm -hmm. on the motion, Ms. Bramer on the second. Thank you. Uh, any discussion? Then are we ready for the question? All those in favor of approving this request signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Next item on the agenda is uh, the transfer of funds. This is the transfer of funds within one uh, department code to another for the purchase for some equipment. Uh, last year, I brought to budget that we were probably on the last legs of our, our uh, sign making equipment. Uh, it's been around for a long time. We can't get updates with software anymore. Uh, so this is, we have money within our supplies to transfer over to equipment to be able to by a new plotter and cutter for our sign shop. Right, so move this forward for consideration, Mr. Leggett on the motion. Uh, do we have a second? Um, Andrea on the second, Ms. Hogan on the second. Um, how much money are we talking about here, Kevin? $24,000. $4,000. 24. $24,000. That's on uh, the sheet, uh, the transfer sheet. Discussion. Are we ready for the question? All those in favor of approving the transfer signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. Next item on the agenda is again another transfer of funds. Uh, this is due to overtime uh, for waste management uh, as well as for some traffic control. Uh, traffic control was for some guide rail repairs that they, they were trying to finish up the repairs. It just ran into a little bit of overtime. I think that was about $300 worth. And the waste management was we were bringing something to one of the facilities, whether it had been the Hiram Hollow or one of the others, and uh, there was just a line of weight. And I think that was for a total of $65 of overtime. We don't have overtime uh, salaries in those, so we take it out of the regular salaries and put it in overtime. All right, let's bring this forward for consideration. I'm bringing um, John Stroud. John Stroud, excuse me, Mr. Stroud on the motion, Ms. Hogan on the second, discussion. Uh, Mr. Bruno. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just a quick question. When you transfer funds, transferring them from somewhere to somewhere, does that leave an imbalance or a hole, if you will, in, in the place you're taking the funds from? No, we have the money and the salaries to be able to do that. So it doesn't leave a, it doesn't leave a hole. Okay, and that that is with regard to any transfer of funds. Yeah, I mean, what I'm taking out of my supplies for the cutter, uh, some of the supplies that we didn't purchase this year is just because we there was we were out of work uh, with the COVID for a period of time. So uh, I didn't I wasn't able to put up all the signs that they could. Um, it's not that these signs are. Uh, are needed. It's we're on a 10, 10 to 11 year cycle of my signs. So I had the money in there to be able to do that. As far as the salaries, uh, there's always a savings in salaries. Uh, I want to say regular salaries. I, people come and go throughout the year. It takes me a period of time to backfill a position. Uh, in that time of not backfilling a position, that salary is still there. So I'm just transferring basically from, from one code within the other and I have the money in there to be able to do it. It's no new money being added to the budget. Right, but I think the, the correct answer to Mr. Bruno's question is, is it possible that it could create, the answer to that question is of course, yes. Um, it, it, it could, but it very rarely does. I I guess, that's yeah. very true, that's very yeah. true. And it, at the end okay. of the year, when we close the books, we're required to have all the account classifications in, uh, in the black. Uh, so if you like your salaries as a whole or something were in the red or your fringes in the red or flies in the red or whatever, we have to we have to do uh, uh, budget transfers to balance those out. And you ensure that your appropriation that's budgeted is adequate for, for your operation. Uh, and mm -hmm. the auditors will we'll get dinged on the audit if that's not if that's not done at the end of the year. So when you see the clean audits come out of the treasurer's office, that's an indication that, uh, that they've done that. 
and just to add on that, these two these two departments, uh, traffic uh, as well as the waste management, typically don't we don't we don't budget for overtime in those because typically they don't have it. Uh, it's not departments we would normally have overtime in for any reason whatsoever. Uh, they're typically the seven to three in both those um, both those shops. So this just happened to be a fluke, and we've run into it before in the solid waste where you know they're taking something whether even if it's not. You know, they take it at one o'clock in the afternoon. By the time the guy's getting back here from Hiram Hall or whatever, it, it's a half hour overtime because they were they're lined up trying to get into the waste waste facility. That's you know, it's it's a fluke, but it does happen. Okay. All right, then are we thank ready for the question? Thank, thank you. Uh, thank you. It's just a, a quick one. Follow up on Ryan there. Uh, we balance the book, so to speak. Sorry, you know, based on. Um, is that by resolution, a blanket resolution to be able to transfer funds as needed at the end of the year? I'm, I'm asking as a supervisor. To our, our departments generally do a pretty good job keeping up with it during the year. That's why you're having a, a request like this come to you now. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I was just curious. We do a lot of transfer of funds in various committees, et cetera, across the board. And, uh, just is curious if we're creating deficits somewhere, but thank you. Yeah, no, that's a good question. All right, then are we ready for the question? All those in favor of approving transfer signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, carried. Next item. Next, uh, the next item on there is a new contract. This is a contract with a vendor for the household hazardous waste. Uh, as you know, this year with COVID, we weren't necessarily um, kind of in a place to do the household hazardous waste collection this year. Uh, we were thinking maybe towards the end of this year it might have worked out. Uh, but the vendor that we had had on uh, had on contract with us had some issues, uh, I believe, with the IRS. Uh, so we decided to put this back out to bid again. Uh, we, I, I'm hoping the updates to the uh, agendas are there, but you'll see that it's with F MXI Environmental Services. Uh, and this will be for two collection periods in 2021. Uh, typically, we have one up here in Warrensburg, and then the other one will be down in Queensbury. All right. Can we bring this forward for any further discussion? Uh, Ms. Bramer on the motion, second. Mr. Bruno on the second, thank you. Any further discussion? Are we ready for the question? All those in favor? Of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Gary. The next item. The next item we have on there is a new contract. This is for the fire suppression and inspection systems for the fuel um, fuel services or the fuel uh, depots around the county. Uh, again, this is a kind of a term agreement type contract. We are uh, have the ability to extend up to two one more year ex extensions. Uh, Typically, it's awarded or it will be awarded to the lowest response bidder, and the bids are due on November 5th. Chair, I'll take a motion to bring this forward. I'll make that motion. Mr. Straub, uh, Mr. Leggett on the second. Thank you. Are we ready for the question? All those, uh, Mr. Leggett. This procedure. So, this has not gone out to bid. This is just preparing to accept the contract when it does. Is that the timing? It, it is currently out to bid, and the bids will be received November 5th. Thank you. Yeah. If you could just advise the committee on the results of that canvas after the bid. I will. All right. Thank you. And are we ready for the question? All those in favor of uh, the contract for the fire suppression signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? I carry. Discussion items, Kevin? First one we have on there is county road construction projects. As you know, we had the contractors come in and uh, do a lot of work within the county this year. Uh, they are on the final, at least of the county uh, funded projects. They are on the final wrap ups. We figured that probably by the end of next week, uh, they will be completely done. Uh, so that that's all the ca uh, contractor construction projects. As far as the county paving, uh, we've done a lot of maintenance paving this year. The last uh, road to be done was supposed to be done today, but due to the weather, we postponed it to tomorrow. 
uh, and after that, the paver will the rented paver will go back to uh, the vendor that we get it from. Uh, as far as county bridge construction projects, which is number two on discussion items, uh, we are at the point of setting the beams. In fact, I believe the crane came in this morning to set beams up on Payton Aram Road Bridge. Uh, highly unlikely uh, that we will get that deck poured this year. Uh, we did not have in the contract for them to do winter cure concrete. Uh, so they will get the beams set and uh, most likely they will pull out for the winter and come back in the spring to pour the deck and be completed with that bridge there. Uh, and that's all I have. Very good. Any other items to come before the committee? Uh, Don, do we have anything on uh, YouTube chat? Uh, no, Chairman Conover, no comments on YouTube. Any other items to come before the committee? There being none, uh, Chair Ellington, a motion to adjourn. Uh, Ms. Bramer on the motion, Mr. Bruno on the second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Hey, Claudia, uh, that was uh, the assessment on that was 125.5. Okay, thank you. All right, good. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Hey, Kevin Hajos.